Have you been looking for homes for weeks or months and feel like you don't have the right perspective in terms of what else is out there and what your options are? Do you feel like you need a little more information to make a really well-informed decision when you're buying a major purchase like a home? This is the episode of Tom's Take you need to watch right now to find out one simple thing you can do to gain that perspective and make a great decision. I'm Tom Tool. Welcome to Tom's Take. This week, I am going over one simple thing every buyer can do to make sure they make a really well-informed and quality decision. And the challenge with this is that a lot of people search for homes online right now. So they're making inquiries on their phone, on their computer, wherever, about one property. And when they make that inquiry, Oftentimes, that's the only home that the agent will show them, and this is where the mistake lies. Because in order to make a really well-informed decision, you have to look at a lot of lemons before you identify the cherry, meaning you have to see some bad properties that are going to help you identify the best one that's out there. So it's about getting better perspective. So here's the tip. Here's the thing you can do if you're searching for properties. It's something all the agents at our team are trained to do, and it's don't look at just one. If you're inquiring about a home and there's two or three others that are around the same price point, right in the same neighborhood or within a couple minutes of each other, make sure you look at all of them because looking at all of them is going to do a number of things for you. One, it gives you a better perspective. While the homes may look attractive online, because of professional photography and video, which is something we use, so no hate there, that's a great marketing technique. Get a better perspective by looking at the other offerings in the marketplace. It'll also show you why those homes aren't selling and why the one you're interested in may be a good value or may be a great opportunity for you as a homeowner. Secondly, it's gonna help educate you because the more you see, the more you'll know, the more market research you're doing as a consumer, and that's gonna enable you to make a really well-informed decision. So those two things will benefit you just by looking at more than one property. So next time you're heading out, talk to your agent, make sure they're gonna show you more than one home, look for agents that are going to bring that to the table and be more proactive. Because when you have a reactive realtor, Oftentimes, you're operating behind the curve when there's other more aggressive agents that are out there doing this for their clients by design every time they see a new property. Now, there, there's an asterisk here clearly because if you're looking for a home in a certain area and there's only one available or you know that you need it to have certain features like central air, finished basement, minimum number of bedrooms or bathrooms, you've already done your research and you know what you want. So in that case, it may not make the most sense. This is more for when you're trying to learn about what is out there in the marketplace. So it's going to give you that perspective and maybe you've already done your research and you know what you want, then you don't have to use this strategy. So be aware of that asterisk here, that exception to the rule. In general, you want an agent that's gonna do this by design because an aggressive agent is sought after by people looking to make real estate decisions. And if they're bringing those solutions to the table, that means they're gonna be able to help you through the process. So really think about that when you're interviewing agents for the job of helping you find a property. So again, just look at more than one home. It's that simple. And do it in the same trip to make your time more efficient and more effective than going out and looking at a one shot here, a one shot there, one shot there. You could do three or four in an hour and a half. And your agent should be bringing that solution to you. Hope you found this helpful. You've got questions. You want to know more about the best ways to search for properties. Ping me on social, and I'll be back next week with another great episode of Tom's Take. Thanks for watching.